Strohrbach is situated along the Oslo Fjord and is a 30 minutes drive up south from Oslo. This charming town is known for its small wooden houses with beautiful gardens, narrow alleys and streets, as well as having a bustling city centre. Drobak is a lovely seaside resort that attracts a lot of beach enthusiasts from the whole region. The beach with lovely facilities is located in the centre of town and the area is suitable for young people and families with children. Santa Claus was born in Drobak and in the Christmas house there is a Christmas spirit all year round. The Christmas house is a big attraction and offers all kinds of Christmas items. At the tourist office at the pier, you can meet Santa Claus's cousin. I'm working here at the, the tourist office in Drobak and uh, I'm the, also the helper of uh, Father Christmas. We say that uh, I'm his uh, cousin. We receive approximately 20,000 cards and letters every year to Father Christmas in uh, Norway and we try to give a reply uh, on about uh, two or 3,000. The aquarium of Drobak is located in the same building as the tourist office. Here you can take a closer look at the different species living in the fjord. The pier attracts locals and tourists all summer, especially when the sun pops out. And there are all sorts of activities, concerts and festivals to attend, like the annual Blues Festival. At the Schipperstor restaurant, you can enjoy good food and refreshing drinks while you have a wonderful view of the fjord. Drobak is a fabulous place for shopping enthusiasts because of the short distance between all the niche shops. At the weekend, the vibrant market is open for all the people wanting to bag a real bargain. Drobak is also well known as an art city and the galleries are filled with art from some of the best artists in Norway. The newspaper Illustrator's House is the place to enjoy the satire and humorous observations of this irreverent group of illustrators. The region's main museum, Folo Museum, is beautifully situated in the woods outside Drobak. And a popular 18-hole golf course is located near the museum. Today we have uh, uh, we've been to the concert uh, to three uh, musicians in the church in uh, Drobak and that was very, very beautiful. Every Saturday, audiences arrive from afar to the church at Drobak to experience free concerts with the best classical artists in Norway. A short ferry ride from the pier takes you to the island where the Oskarsborg fortress is situated. The fortress is best known from the last world war when Colonel Ericsson on the 9th of April 1940 sank the German warship Blücher. Today the castle is the venue for an annual opera production. The old barracks have been transformed into hotel rooms and you find restaurants, galleries and a marina on the island which is visited by almost 100,000 people every year. There's something enchanting about Drobak that will make you long to return.